Just the one Moors Millions qualifier this week. Quite a few long distance races. It's a three mile five furlong event this week. 0 to 140. At the top, Ill Woods, or Padre Hogan, Tuxford, Darren Thompson, Velvet Sky, Craig Beckwith, Arctic Watch, Alex Cherry, Rose Tree, David Hooley, Watchtower, Graham Clutterbuck, Fermi on Freeze, or David Robertson, Langley Streak, Graham Clutterbuck, Alexandra Cornwall for Cadre Hogan and place the Duchess for Alex Cherry. They're away and racing. Already seems to be raining in just about every race so far today as they head to the first. And they get over the first OK right in front of the stand. And 22 more to take. And I would suggest they've got two complete circuits of the track ahead of them. With Watchtower in the lead. And they're being overtaken by L Woods in the yellow and the black over on the far side. As they get to the second, which they will safely negotiate. Tuxford, the early back marker, so the top weights are first and last at this point as they get over the third. And they're all safely over that one with Ill Woods, the clear leader. And the rest of them very tightly packed. Also, the Arctic Watch on the outside just showing second. The place the Duchess is also close up for Alex Cherry as they get over the fourth. They're all over rose trees now. The back marker. And they've settled themselves down, sorted themselves out into some sort of racing order now. And Ill Woods is going to be the clear leader going into fence number five. Uh, got in close to that one, but got away with it. And continues to lead by a length or two to Fermi on Freeze, who's now clear second. Now, this near rail place, the Duchess is third, then Langley Streak is four. And a bit of a mistake by Alex Cherry's second horse there. Arctic Watcher seen that one. Shuffle back to last as they come to this ditch. Which they will successfully negotiate. Ill Woods continuing to lead. A short run to the eighth. All over the eighth without mishap. Ill Woods in front. Fermi and Freeze chasing in second. And down his near side rail. In its place, the Duchess. With Langley Streak at the centre of the track. And the stable companion to the leader, Alexandra Cornwall, is getting a little bit closer into fifth. And then the rest of them are, in effect, in a line together. Ill Woods is in happy in front. Leading by three. Seeing Fermi on freeze in second. Makes the Duchess on the near side third. And Langley Street and Alexander Cornwall. Watchtower down his near side. He's next, over on the far side. He's Rose Tree between the two of them, Velvet Sky, and the back pair are Tuxford and Arctic Watch. This is Fence 9. I'll get over it. Again. Make their way into the straight. Still on their feet and all going well, and now it's a Padre Gogan 1 2. As Alexandra Cornwall has moved through into second, Ill Woods, though, continuing to lead by four. This will be the final fence next time round. And we'll save the other one again. Woods. That's in the stands then. Well, this is the fence. It'll be the final one next time round. Next, the one in the straight. So I expected. And we're quite close to the finish. It'll be a short run. And Air Woods is in front. Alexandra Cornwall is second, and Watchtower is third. Then Fumi on Freeze is fourth. And the place of in Rose Tree, and then Velvet Sky. Optic Watch is still the back marker, but more than a dozen lengths off the lead. They take number 13. We'll safely over that one. With Ill Woods in front. Alexandra Cornwall second. The ditch. Again, we'll jump well. Ill 
people just continuing to show the way to be headed, I think. They're coming to the 15th. Alexander Cornwall is second. One thing that this L Woods hasn't done is not attempted to get into the rail yet. It's quite happy to stay out in the middle of the track. Oh, Patrick Hogan makes it that. I don't know. We'll see at the end of the race where it finishes, whether he thinks it's a good idea or not. There's a mistake towards the back there by Langley Streak. But you definitely get a feeling that this leader is giving away a little bit of ground. But dropped that one really well. I got over it. Well, got away from it nicely. And continues to lead by five lengths. Despite being quite wide on the track over that ditch as well. The Watchtower now second, Alexandra Cornwall third. Then Fermi on freeze and placed the Duchess and then Rose Tree. Tuxford is trying to get closer as they get over the 19th, just four to go now. And Elwoods leading by three. The Watchtower in second. Fermi on freeze being driven up into third. In place of Dutchies, Alexandra Cornwall just dropped back a little bit. Rose Tree is still going wide on the track as well. Tuxford is trying to run on the back three. Arctic Watch Velvet Sky and Langley Street with work to do. Still Elwood Woods heading down to this fourth last in front. Oh, Fermi and Freedom watch tower on the far rail. In place, the Dutch is just being given the hurry up. Then comes Alexandra Cornwall, then Tuxford, who's gone past Rose Tree. Surely between these, can't see Langley Street and Velvet Sky getting into it. Arctic watches gone all together. But it's Hill Woods who's now starting to drift in Woods a little bit in front from Alexandra Cornwall in second. Fermi and Freeze place the Dutchies. Watchtower's now under pressure. Tuxford is still trying to run on. Velvet Sky going round, not Velvet Sky, sorry. Uh, Rose Tree trying to come round the outside. But it's L Woods over the third last in the lead from Stable Companion in second. Alexandra Cornwall. Then comes Rose Tree. Fermi and Freeze place the Dutchies after that one. Watchtower trying to run on again. They've only got two to take then now. And L Woods will come down to this second last with a clear lead. Been in the lead all the way from Alexandra Cornwall in second, Rose Tree is running on in third, then comes Watchtower Fermi and Freeze is next, Tuxford still getting into it over the second last way go, and there's a faller there, place of Dutchess is gone but it's L Woods in the lead, now being pressed by stable mate Alexandra Cornwall Watchtower is running on in third, they come down to the final fence, and it's L Woods and Alexandra Cornwall, they get over it together but it's on this near side Alexandra Cornwall bursts into the lead and he's going to race up the hill and take it Alexandra Cornwall wins the unlucky stable mate, L Woods second, Rose Tree third, then took some watch towers for him and freeze and all the way back to Arctic Watch and Drake Hogan probably won't mind I guess he's got a 1-2 you've got to feel for Al Woods who was in the lead all the way and got caught over the final fence Alexandra Cornwall takes it for Padraig Hogan who was also second with L Woods Rose Tree third for David Hooley Tuxford fourth for Darren Thompson and Watchtower for Graham Clutterbuck was fifth.